which half should I look ugly. I lied when I said I look 45. I am 67. I'm mean 68. But do I look 68? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, which half do you want me to send you, huh? Do up. I'm gonna play you a song. Yeah. I'll I'll play you half a Moonlight Sonata on my little tiny piano. Get this thing a rockin'. send you half now and if you lose you have to send the other half back plus a whole fifty dollar not fifty cents not fifty doll hairs either fifty dollars see my single wide trailer I live in a single wide our house is single wide but we do have a purdy view. Oh. See our view? It's purdy. And my my toy. And my dog's toy. And my other toy at church organ. It. Wait a minute. Let me show you the, the best organ. The hot fire. Oh! This is going to be hotter than what... Patrick's going to be experiencing when he goes to the hell. Ooh, it's going to be hotter. Felix, my cat. Oh, and Otis, the brat. All right. If you don't, if you lose, do what? You have to come to Oregon, and I'm going to play you four hours of organ music. This is my old antique organ. You want to hear it? I, I wonder what Kelsey's favorite hymn was. Um, I'm sure she had. She liked, I'm sure she liked the new praise hymns. I play those as well. But not on this organ. I'll play something for you. On this guy. This is... This was built in 
side with me from the balls, the even tide, the darkness deepens, Lord, with me abide, to which other helpers fail and comforts free, help of the helpless. Oh, abide with me. That's a beautiful song. The organ with me. They used to take it to the to the grave sites. It's got handles on it, and this top comes off. It unscrews right here, so just this part goes. This whole top comes off, and then the handles. It only weighs a hundred pounds, and they take that to uh, the grave sites to play for uh, funerals. Anyway. My children play a lot better than me. My son was a music prodigy. He took, uh, is, he took 12 years of piano. He's very gifted. He has, he, he has a dispensary. He owns a dispensary. And he has a piano just like that in his dispensary. Anyway. Uh, I don't get nothing for free, huh? Don't you think I should get something for free? Anyway. Dad, hold on. I want to show you something else. This is my front yard. <laughs> Ain't that something? I got to show you one of my cars. We have two Tundras, but I got a brand new Tundra, but I can't drive it because my knee, I just had knee surgery. So, but I want to show you something. What you think of that, huh? Do wop dummy with a phone. <laughs> That's me. Oh, I'm over the edge of boring. Anyway, we had to turn our ponds pumps off. Anyway, poor Kelsey. Oh God. And I want. I know that uh, KK is going to get a lot more them three years. You wait and see. There's a surprise coming. Surprise. And us Adventists think differently. We don't believe that Kelsey's up in heaven looking down because the Bible teaches otherwise. Anyway, if you want to know more Bible truth, here I'm preaching like an Adventist. Anyway, God bless. Thank you for caring and giving us all that awesome information that you have about the Kelsey Barrett case. Um, I think Patrick's going to turn on KK once he loses his appeal. She better be scared. And uh, she, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's going to get three years from what I've read and what I know about this judge and and the charges, I think she's kind of pissed off the judge. But did you hear they found Kelsey's trash? They found that Starbucks cup and it has poison in it. KK's DNA. Have you heard? That's big news. liar <laughs> but anyway, wouldn't that be cool what if what if of course they have to share that with the defense team but I'm always barefoot hey look at the spoon lady Abby the spoon lady and she talks about no teeth oh she is so cool she had what 30 million hits and it crashed her computer and her anyway that's my husband's ham shack he has a, a repeater on top of that mountain right there 
WB6EGSR, and uh, he's Motorola's top systems engineer. He designs all the 911 systems, and we have 911 center right there, and uh, ham radios for the police and the fire to use because we're out in the boonies. Anyway, ain't that a pretty view? I love it here. We've lived on this hill for 35 years. Got everything paid off, so now we're poor. Anyway, we look down at all those people down below. <laughs> Wishing I was them, because I'm not healthy. Anyway, continue to pray for the Barris, especially at Christmas time. And uh, little Kaylee been raised without her mom some friends from our church her parents were friends with the Barris because they went to the same church at Moses Lake anyway dad with the phone thank you so much for doing what you do and reporting and tell your dad I sent him a letter an, an a letter an email or message I'm so dumb I have PTSD from what I saw as a deputy sheriff, so there were things I could never unsee. And the Flight 182, the crash of the San Diego PSA Flight 182, 250 souls aboard scattered around a several mile horrific crash. There were people strapped to their seats, missing things and uh, these are things you cannot unsee and two of my fellow deputies committed suicide so I struggle with horrendous PTSD and uh, I couldn't work after that so pray for those who protect and serve our country and our police force, fire, medical. Do you know our firemen are dying because of the oils that they were exposed to? Our neighbor, Fire Chief Ron Bender, was Fire Chief of Portland. He just died from lung cancer from the oils that he was exposed to. But we're ready for the grid to go down. We have a thousand gallons of gas, propane, and a generator as big as a car <laughs> car engine to run this dump this is our dump on the hump we got 4500 square feet old house but i love it anyway and we have a guest house too so anybody want to come to boring and stay with us we have a 1200 square foot guest house that i did airbnb it's called cottage by the sea s-e-e -E, but I decided I didn't want strangers coming to my house because the last Airbnb people uh, made marijuana butter and they got the oil all over anyway. It stank up the property for a long time. What do you think of that ham shack? My husband was on the Henry L. Stimson. Um submarine in Holy Lock, Scotland. My husband's Scottish. He's a descendant of William Wallace. Let me tell you, he is a brave heart. Anyway, God bless. Thank you. Dad with phone, I'm going to send you that half of $50 in anticipation. Bye.